Hawks, number two doubles, lead 40-30. And Fritchkin with an ace. Emma Nia with a winner, and the Bucks wrap. Barry University women's tennis team has clearly become one of the nation's best. Last year, the Buccaneers won 26 straight matches while capturing their third straight Sunshine State Conference Championship. The Bucs climbed to as high as number two in the national poll before bowing out in the NCAA semifinals to eventual champion Armstrong Atlantic. Linda Fritchkin and Christina Valladeras earned ITA All-American honors. Maria Lopez was chosen as the National Assistant Coach of the Year. Senior Julie Stas earned First Team Academic All-American honors. And Carolyn Wendling finished her career with 70 career victories. This year, with five new players on head coach Avi Kegel's roster, the Bucks are seeking big returns again. Akemi Maihama withstands the long rally and wins that point. Good fighting by Akemi. Barry opened the season with 18 straight wins, which included a dozen overranked teams. During that stretch, Kegel picked up his 100th career victory. After winning three straight in frigid Georgia a few days later, the Buccaneers ventured off to Texas early the next week. With little time to rest, Barry beat number three Abilene Christian 6-3 in the first of three road wins. The highlight of the regular season came on March 22nd when the Bucks beat number one Armstrong Atlantic 5-4 at Buccaneer Tennis Center to end the Pirates' 43-match win streak. All seven of the Bucks were responsible for one point in the marquee victory. Karina Goya and Isabella Miro combined for the first doubles win, while Elizabeth Abanda and Emma Onila knocked off the number one duo in the country. Fritchkin, Akemi Maihama, and Kimi Twelker each won singles matches to secure the win. Now the aim is to make another long postseason run in the NCAA tournament. Karina Goya serving match point. And the Buccaneers close it off with an ace on Goya's ace.